Good evening, YouTube. You guys are watching another segment of the Cali Effect King of Games. And today, we're going to be watching an epic match between Prank Kids and Alter Guys. Now, for the people that said that Prank Kids are a tier 3 deck, we're going to see right here, right now, as I'm starting off with the activation of the spell card Prank Kids Place, allowing me to add one Prank Kids monster from my deck to my hand. This is going to start off with a slew of series of combos, and there is a slight misplay in this game. I hope you guys can forgive it. This is one of the very first times that we were playing Prank Kids, and I kind of rushed through the combo. I'm going to go ahead and activate Instant Fusion, paying 1,000 of my life points to Special Summon Prank Kids Weather Washer to my side of the field. Very deadly card. I'm then going to Normal Summon Prank Kids Drop Season, use both of those monsters for a Link Summon into Prank Kids Rocket? What? How do you do that, Cali Effect? It was actually supposed to be a Link Summon into Prank Kids Do Doodle Doo, Doodle Doo to add your Prank Kids Pandemonium, and then you activate the effects of your pandemonium to make rocket but nonetheless i might have actually even had a pandemonium in my hand originally and just completely forgot to activate it just kind of like linked them off and didn't put the card into the graveyard either one of those it's fine we still would have ended up with the exact same sequence as what i'm going to do next i'm then going to follow up with another huge play using both my illegally half legally summoned prank kids rocket and my prank kids fancies for a link summon back into prank kids do <laughs> prank kids Doodle Doodle Do, using its ability to add one monster or one Prankid spell or trap card from my deck to my hand and spread summoning Prankid Fanzies to my side of the field by sending one Prankid's card from my deck to the graveyard. Actually, my apologies. Uh, Prankid's Lampsies summon Fanzies to my side of the field. Do Doodle Do is still deciding on what I should add from my deck to my hand, whether it's Prankid's Place, if it's another Pandemonium, because obviously, apparently, I don't, I don't have to use Pandemoniums to win this game or to even fusion summon for that matter or is it going to be prank kids plan what exactly will i add it's going to get really interesting to see what i'm going to do it looks like i'm going to be adding prank kids prank from my deck to my hand following up with a pretty extensive combo meaning that i am not done with this combo sequence ladies and gentlemen but if you said prank kids are a tier three deck you couldn't be more wrong this deck is explosive it's a powerful it has everything in the making to be a tier one deck it's just missing that one guard prank it's roxy's and a little bit more play a little solid more play by some solid players to allow them to thrive with this deck because it is i promise you guys really powerful and for the people that want to see the prank it's deck profile go ahead and click on this link ladies and gentlemen to take you right there i'm gonna go ahead and activate or no it looks like i'm not gonna activate i'm gonna tribute Yes, I'm going to tribute Prankin's Dole Doodle Doo to add two Prankin's monsters from my deck to my end. Then I'm going to follow up by activating Prank Kids Pranks using its ability to send one card or one Prank Kids card from my hands to the graveyard fanzies to spell summon a Prank Kids token to my side of the field. I'm then going to go ahead and follow up by using the token and the fanzies for another link summon into Prank Kids, probably Prank Kids Bow Wow Bark. Yes, that is right. Bow Wow Bark is really powerful, allowing me to do some really good things now. Bow Wow Bark is a quick effect that activates on my opponent's turn. It protects my monsters, but even more importantly, it allows me to recur Prank Kids cards from my graveyard to my hand. This deck is extremely good. Now, Fans' effect is going to send Prank Kids plans from my deck to my graveyard, and that's going to allow me to summon another Prank Kids, which is Prank Kids Lampsies to my side of the field. I don't know why I keep putting Prank Kids Lampsies in defense, but it happens for some reason. I just still don't understand. It, 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 you should put that thing in attack, 1500 attack. The potential to actually be... Uh, 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 having a thousand point differential on your board at any given time, provided that you fusion or and link summon, could make Prank Kids Lampsies an actually terribly powerful card. But Cali Effect don't care. That 500 defense is going to be used too strong. I'm going to go ahead and pass it back to TJ, setting up with two additional cards face down. So this actually lets me know that yes, I still could have performed this combo sequence, but I just did it a little bit wrong. I'm going to end phase, resolve my Prank Kids plan, shoveling and weather. Uh, Rocket and Lancey's into my deck to draw an additional card or will I leave my graveyard as it is because we know uh, Altergeist Mulliseek can be devastating. I need actually five Prank Kids cards to make it zero, meaning that it wouldn't be able to deflect any damage or send any cards from my deck to the graveyard. So that is actually built-in protection for Altergeist. This deck actually has so many counters against so many meta decks. It's amazing. It's insane. It's, it's really not heard of seeing a deck this well built against the meta decks right now even in its infancy because it's still not a fully powered deck but it's definitely getting there tj is gonna go ahead and start off with his turn looking down on a prank it's bow wow bark and a lampsies and i remember telling him this is the end you're not winning this game he's like why 
He's gonna go ahead and start off with Pot of Desire. Somebody that has not ever prayed against Prank Kids probably are wondering what can you do against this deck or like what's so menacing about this board? He's gonna go ahead and banish 10 cards from his deck to draw two additional cards, ladies and gentlemen, putting him in a pretty good spot. I think anytime you activate Pot of Desires, you're gonna be in great hands, giving you two additional cards to your hand that you have never seen and banishing 10 useless cards in this deck because these cards you don't really need to see multiples of unless you banish all three multi fakers and you know i guess that's a problem then dj is going to go ahead and follow up with another one of his draw search cards of his own in pot of duality allowing him to excavate the top three cards from his deck revealing oh man metaverse oh are we playing a secret village of spellcasters version now this is really powerful against prank kids tj is then going to go ahead and follow up by shuffling his deck i think he's looking for an out to my very dangerous prank kids lamp season defense he's gonna activate secret vigils of spellcasters i actually do have a card to activate his chain link too and prank kids pandemonium allow me to fusion summon right before i won't be able to activate any of my or spell cards i'm gonna go ahead and use prank kids drop season prank kids fancies for prank kids weather washer whoa weather washer is really powerful somebody actually pointed out that my monsters can't be destroyed when weather washer uses effect but i didn't even know that that's that's really interesting to know. Weather Washer is going to have the ability to special summon Prank Kids monster from my graveyard to my side of the field. But I think I'm going to activate the monsters that I used in my hand for fusion summoning, allowing me to summon Dropsies and Fansies back to my side of the field. So I have a pretty good board right now. But wait, it gets worse. Other than the slight misplay of me playing Prank Kids Fansy in the wrong zone, TJ is going to go ahead and summon Altergeist Mulliseek and then attack for that 500 damage. Me looking at my graveyard, I do not have five cards in my graveyard to make that Mulliseek zero. So it looks like I'm going to be losing something. I figured that I'm going to use Weather Watcher's effect to special summon Prankids Doodle Do, Doodle Do, and Prankids Bow Wow Bark to my side of the field. And TJ is really confused as he's still going to inflict that 500 damage and then try to figure out what card he's going to send to the graveyard. What is he scared of? I have quite a few huge monsters to my side of the field. He might want to lessen those monsters or he can be scared of the back row the prank kids monsters are just really hard to deal with when you play them and they're very fresh and you don't understand what's happening personally he definitely should have hit the back row but tj's not necessarily understanding what's going on right now we're still debating on what can i do to stop this mulliseek i obviously can't activate prank kids plan it would make it 100 which means it'd be pretty moot but i do have a still very strong field presence even if he doesn't hit the monster I can still proceed to link off with some really good cards. He's going to get the Bow Wow Bark. And if he didn't hit the Bow Wow Bark, those two monsters can make a link four on their own. TJ is going to follow up with three cards face down, not knowing that one of the strongest cards in Prank Kids is the Trap Card. Prank Kids plan, allowing me to link summon on my opponent's turn. I'm going to use Lampsies, Dropsies, and of course, Do 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 for a link summon into Prank Kids Rip Roaring Rooster. Roaster. And this guy is a savage, using him as a tribute to destroy all of my opponent's spell and trap cards on his turn. This is insane. And at the main phase two of my opponent, looks like I'm going to go ahead and use Lampsy's effect to spell summon Dropsy's and then Rip Roar Rooster to destroy all of TJ's spell and trap cards. That's a minus four for him, ladies and gentlemen, and just free pluses for me i'm not sure tj has any might to finish this game and it is that much over i show him the rest of my hand and we already know he is in for some pretty bad times going against this deck this time around tj is going to go ahead and go first and i'm going to be showing you guys one of the most critical weaknesses to the prank kids deck in case you guys actually come across one tj is going to start off with pot of desires and we actually built this altar guys deck specifically to beat prank kids yes that's right i am that gutsy with this prank kids deck i feel that no matter what you play this deck is still extremely good. It has outs to your outs. It has ways around your workarounds. It's a pretty powerful deck. So when building Altergeist, instead of building it as a normal build, we decided to play that Secret Village build and to great success. TJ is going to go ahead and start off by activating his Desires. Desires into a pot of duality. Some of the only draw search cards that he does play, revealing, oh man, he's revealed almost the exact same uh, cards twice with pot of duality. He does run three just about of a lot of things. But I think this time around, he's going to add the Metaverse. No, he's going to add the personal spoofing means that he already has either the Metaverse or the Secret Village of the Spellcasters, which is really crippling against the Prank Kids strategy. TJ is then going to go ahead and follow up by thinking on what he's going to do. It's going to be really exciting. We already know we're going to get Secret Village of Spellcasters. We've seen it in game one. Well, let's see if Prank Kids actually have the ability to out it because this deck is still really good at just attacking over monsters, destroying monsters, and disrupting the board, but Altergeist does almost the exact same thing. 
I'm gonna go ahead and start my turn, and TJ is gonna start off by activating a deadly trap card for Altergeist inside of personal spoofing, allowing him to shuffle an Altergeist monster on his field or hand into his deck to add another Altergeist. He's then gonna follow up with a Metaverse, allowing him to add Secret Village of Spellcasters from his deck. Whoa, it'd be really bad if he didn't have any monsters to follow up with, but he's gonna shuffle the Altergeist Silquidos to add the multi faker and since he did activate a trap card he's gonna go ahead and use multi fakers effect to summon itself and the silquitos to a side of the field now tj did do that a little awkwardly so allow me to help you guys he's gonna use the personal spoofing he's gonna shuffle search then he's gonna activate the metaverse activate and then he's gonna activate his alter guys monsters i'm gonna go ahead and start off with prank kids lamps he's already big enough to attack into one of his alter guys monsters i have a man i'm the man with the plan right now attacking into the Altergeist Multifaker, and TJ's gonna go ahead and check, use the ability of Silquidos to bounce my Lampseeds to my hand, but I have something for that Silquidos himself. I'm gonna chain a Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit to destroy the Silquidos, since it is an activated effect. So now TJ has no Spellcaster monsters on the side of the field. I'm free to activate whatever I want. No Spellcasters, TJ. Looks like I'm gonna be able to play this Yu-Gi-Oh game after all. I'm gonna go ahead and start off in my main phase two by activating Prank Kid's Place, and TJ has a response to the Prank Kid's Place. He's gonna activate Alter Geist, or Alter Geist Manifestation, and I'm like, well, you were just playing with me. You could have activated this in the battle phase. That's gonna summon his Soquitos to his side of the field, and now since I've entered the main phase two, I can't battle this card anymore. I can't put any things, but even more importantly, I have two Prank Kid's Pandemonium in my hand which puts me in a really, really salty spot. I'm gonna go ahead and start off by just adding the fanzies from my deck to my hand through the effect of Prank Kid's Place. And then that's gonna be the end of my turn. I actually do have Pandemonium in my hand, but I couldn't chain it in response to Manifestation because I only had one Prank Kid's monster in my hand to begin with. So yes, there are multiple ways to be able to put monsters on the board and be able to dodge the effects of Secret Village of the Spellcasters, but Alter Guys, really got the one up this time around tj's really trying to make his deck work thinking about his next plan i think he's going to shovel the sequitos to add marionetta from his deck to his hand that would be one of the better plays if you ask me because that would not only give him advantage we also know that he has that multi faker to summon the monster right back out to his side of the field he's in good hands he's all state right now and i think he's just going to do that shoveling the sequitos into his deck to search from his deck to his hand another alter guys monster we're reading Manifestation to make sure that it goes to the graveyard or not. It is an equipped card. He's going to go ahead and follow up with Altergeist Marionetta using its ability to set an Altergeist card. No, it's going to be met by Infinite Impermanence, ladies and gentlemen. Or, my apologies, Effect Veiler. Not Infinite Impermanence. Infinite Impermanence Jr. <laughs> Being able to negate the Marionetta. He's going to attack for that 1800 damage. And then pass his turn. Whoa, this game still looks to be in TJ's favor. Secret Village of Spellcaster, Marionetta. I'm just going to send a monster in defense. It looks like Altergeist has definitely gained that edge, that advantage, whatever they have needed. TJ is going to go ahead and debate on what he's going to do. With this time around, I think TJ is going to get a little sneaky. Sneaky TJ is the best TJ, guys. And now that I think about it, this is actually another huge misplay. Because I do have Prank Kid's Pandemonium in my hand. If I would have set it phase down after Pete TJ used personal spoofing to shuffle the monster in the deck, he would no longer have a spellcaster monster on the side of the field. Meaning that I could have used Prank Kid's Pandemonium, but I think if I actually would have set the Pandemonium phase down, TJ wouldn't have used the personal spoofing without at least having another monster. Now, Altergeist is a very trap-heavy deck, unaffected by Secret Village of Spellcasters, and it's a deck that can actually keep spellcaster monsters on their side of the field. So, doesn't really matter how he's going to do it. He's going to summon Marionetta again to summon, to set his protocol to his side of the field. And now he's in full drive, using the Marionetta to attack into my phase down defense position monster. And don't count these Prank Kid monsters out because Prank Kid Fancies has 2,000 defense. What a defense. Oh my God. Kind of like Philadelphia's defense again. Mm, are we not talking about that right now? Wait to the discussion video, Cali effect. I'm going to go ahead and start off by normal summoning Prank Kid's Lampsies to my side of the field and use both of those monsters for a link summon lancies and fanzies alike to spot summon to my side of the field prank kids do do dodo doodle do and it's going to be met with a pretty terrible consequence because cj is going to activate solemn strike 
destroying Rakith Do Doodle Doo before I can get any advantage off of it. I'm gonna use the effects of my Lampsies and my Fanzies to spell summon Dropsies and another Fanzies to my side of the hill, trying to get something going. Now I have one more Link Summon invested in me and another special summon that I could do. Does TJ have a response? Well, we should already know that TJ has some sort of response. I still can't activate any spell cards. He still has that monster on the side of the field. He is in great hands. He could have actually summoned the multi-faker right here, but I think TJ is just riding it out, trying to see me struggle. Everybody likes to see me struggle, especially when TJ can get a win. I'm going to use both of those monsters for another Link Summon to attempt for the second time to go into the Prank Kids Dodo Doodle Do and use its ability. TJ is actually going to hit me with the Altergeist Protocol negating the monster's effect and destroying it. This is a no bueno, ladies and gentlemen. I put so many resources into summoning those two Link monsters and I have to read Protocol, I have to read Manifestation. When you're losing this bad, you gotta read every single card just to make sure everything's going right in your way. I'm gonna hand the card right back off to TJ and then proceed to scoop this up, especially after TJ is gonna go ahead and use the effects of his multi-faker that he used earlier in the game. I think we're in a very, very bad spot. So pretty much giving that up and going into game three, the multi of Sequidos is just something that I cannot handle, or as Pegasus would like to say, too hot to handle. Game three is gonna be really interesting because I get to go first again. And I'm telling you, if you win the dice roll against Alter Guys, you are at a significant advantage because of the combos of this deck that can pull off. This time around, let's hope to do the combo correctly. I'm gonna activate Prank Kid's place using its ability to add a Prank Kid's monster from my deck to my hand. Whoa! I wonder what monster is gonna be Lancey's, Dropsies, Fanzies, Roxies. Oh, I get it. Lancey's, Dropsies, Fanzies, Roxy. That could actually be a rap song. <laughs> so if this combo goes off uninfinite and permanent, uninterrupted by any TJ's hand traps or whatsoever, he can be in for a pretty bad time. I'm gonna use Prank Kid's Place to add Prank Kid's Lampsies from my deck to my hand. And then I'm gonna start off by using our follow up with Instant Fusion. Allow me to special summon one fusion monster to my side of the field. That fusion monster is going to be Prank Kid's Weather Washer to my side of the field. I'm then going to follow up by normal summoning Prank Kid's Lampsies and using both of those monsters for a link summon into Prank Kid's Doodle Do Dodo -do Doodle Do. Using Do Doodle Do's, or I'm sorry, using Prank Kid's Lampsies effect to special summon drop seeds to my side of the field, and then Do Doodle Do adding Prank Kid's Pandemonium from my deck to my hand. Now, this is exactly how the combo should be done, ladies and gentlemen. Because now I'm going to actually start off by following up, or finish off, by following up with Prank Kid's Pandemonium, allowing me to fuse both the Dropsies and the Do Dodo Doodle Do. Both of those monsters are going to go ahead and make Prank Kid's Rocket Ride to my side of the field. And if that card goes uninterrupted, I'm going to go ahead and special summon, or use the effect of Dropsies to special summon Fanzies, and then Rocket Ride to give my opponent the ride of his lifetime, targeting one Prank Kid's Monster and Prank Kid's Do Doodle Do. To spell some of those monsters back to my side of the field. This is where you wish you had Roxy, because the combo would get so much more expanded. So Dodo Do is gonna meet the side of the field and also Prank Kids Dropsies. And now I'm actually gonna follow up by using Prank Kids Do 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 Do's effect to add Pandemonium back from my graveyard to my hand, as well, I believe, as another card. I'm pretty sure it adds two instead of one. Yes, we're gonna add Lampsies and Pandemonium from our graveyards to our hand and put ourselves in a really good spot using the following two cards for another Link Summon into Prank Kid's Bow Wow Bark and then using the effect of Lampsies to send Prank Kid's Plan. Now, I should have Link Summon before I sent the What's the Name so I could have added Plan and Lampsies to my hand, but it's still all good, ladies and gentlemen. This is the combo you want to go into and especially seeing what my hand already knew the exact cards that I had. I knew what I could work with I actually wanted to keep that Prank Kid's plan into the graveyard. We're going to set two guards face down and then pass it back to TJ. He is in trouble, ladies and gentlemen. Looking at this board, we got Bow Wow Bark and Lampsies. I'm going to go ahead and use Bow Wow Bark's effect to add Dropsies and Fanzies to my hand. And TJ is going to start off really modest-like. I think that he's trying to win this game, but it's really hard for Prank Kids, or, or for prank kids to lose when you open the setup. He's going to start off with Marinetta using its ability to gain him an Altergeist Trap card to his side of the field, or eventually to his side of the field to be used. I'm thinking he's thinking about what he can get, maybe a protocol to stop that negation. But no, I actually have the effect Veiler for the Marionetter, so no setting 
for you. He's then going to go ahead and use the Marinette to attack into the Lampsies. Just another time where I just don't seem to put the Lampsies in the correct position. Dang it, Cali Effect. Put Lampsies in attack position. It is not fansies. I'm going to go ahead and use Prank Kid's Pandemonium, fusing the Lampsies and another monster, which happens to be fansies to make Prank Kid's Weather Washer. Now, I'm going to go ahead and gain the effects of both fansies and Weather Washer to allow me to summon two more monsters to my side of the field. Uh, also, by giving my opponent or dealing 500 damage to my opponent as well as uh, sending a card from my deck to my graveyard. Man, I love Prank Kid's fansies. It's like it's the best one it's the thunder it's the level one it has this going for it, it has that going for it no i don't run one for one because the monster count is just so low but man fanzies is good ladies and gentlemen so tj is gonna go ahead and set, set three cards face down and then pass his turn i'm like hold on let me summon my monsters first i'm gonna go ahead and special summon both dropsies and fanzies from my deck and then tj is actually gonna take advantage of the slight misplays in the beginning, and I'm going to go ahead and use Dropsies. Now, Dropsies' effect will trigger, allowing me to gain a 1,000 life points and special summon a monster to my side of the field because I have not used Dropsies. I've used Fansies. I've used Lampsies. So, oopsies. Get it? No? All right. I'm going to go ahead and use Weather Watcher's effect. Actually, opting not to use Dropsies' effect. That's interesting. To special summon Prank Kids Do Dodo Doodle Doo and Prank Kids Bow Wow Bark to my side of the field. I'm feeling really confident right now not summoning those. Oh, it looks like, yes, I did use the uh the lampsies or the dropsies to summon lampsies it's just a little late on it but we are in good hands and then using prank kids pandemonium or no 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 no. and then using our secret set tech phase down card prank kids plan using doodle doo and the two prank kids monsters on the side of the field to summon rip roaring roaster again tj back at it again losing all your back row to a rip roaring roaster tj not suspecting that I played Prank Kids Plan or even had a Prank Kids Plan, expecting other back row, which I don't run any. So really, really good. Uh, Prank Kids is going to take advantage of a lot of players in the beginning. I think that players, once they start to pick up on how the deck operates, they'll be a little more uh, uh, resilient or uh, just, just a little better at setting their face down spell and trap cards or possibly even playing other cards. But until then, we're going to take advantage of that. Being able to wipe TJ's entire back row and still have some cards to spare. I'm pretty sure I have like five or six cards in my hand so he's not looking good he doesn't lose his monster but i have the field presence i have the hand presence and i'm letting him know look tj i have the combos i have everything i'm not even going to do it because this is how confident i am and in your inability to make a board right now if you have multi-faker it's done if it, it just doesn't matter what you do i'm just going to go ahead and normal summon prank kids lampsies slaps in the face to tj's and then i'm just going to attack with the bow wow bark and the Lampsies. Nothing else. No, no serious combos. Nothing too special. We're just going to inflict that damage and then keep on pushing. TJ is going to look at his next card and it it's not looking great, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to pass it back to him. He's drawing. He's trying to figure it out and it, it's, it just doesn't look there. He's going to go ahead and scoop it up, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys thought that Prank Kids were a deck to be kidding on, then you were completely wrong. Of course, there were a couple of misplays, mainly because it's a very new deck, but it was still really fun to play. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. If you guys loved the video, let us know what you liked. If you didn't, let us know down below in the comment section what we could be to be, could be, to be better. Please like, comment, subscribe once again, but most of all, enjoy. I hope you guys are having a great day, like I am.